Welcome back to the shooting channel and we've got another film today about the basics of getting into shooting and the basic safety rules that you need to know. Because a lot of people have commented we're new to shooting, but it's all a bit daunting of how to get into it. It's a gun. The first most important thing is a shotgun is a shotgun. It's not a firearm. A firearm is a rifle. So a shotgun is a piece of sports equipment. A shotgun, the maximum killing range of a shotgun is 60 yards. Really, a, a, a clay ground, you will have 45 yards. And the biggest safety things is mostly common sense. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get Safety gear, you want to get a set of glasses, you want to get a pair of earphones, I recommend Swapcom ones. Hearing and eye protection is the biggest thing you need to think about. I would also recommend getting yourself a baseball cap because if you're around a clay ground and you get a bit of clay in your head, it really hurts. If you get a bit of clay in your eye or a bit of clay in your head, it will hurt you. So get yourself a, a, a baseball cap you can get yourself a, shoot, a shooting channel baseball cap. Email contact us at the shooting channel.co.uk and Alex will help you with that. So a baseball cap, a, a skeet vest. Again, we've, 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 I've worn lots of skeet vests in this world. My recommendation is either the, the Sealand ones, they start at 50 to 60 pounds, or you can get something like a tweed one like this. I wear the Harkelia one. Um, but they've got to have this wide here, so you slide the gun up into your cheek. And when you come into the gun, I've got the gun into my gun slip. The gun is always carried that way up. So this bit here is solid. It won't fall out. You never carry the gun that way up. If that falls out, you've done yourself probably a thousand pounds worth of damage straight away, because the stock will hit the, hit the floor and you've cracked your stock already. So it's always that way up. Or if you're walking across muddy fields, you can do that. But personally, if you're on a clay ground, that is absolutely perfect. When you take the gun out the slip, you put the gun onto the floor, the slip opens to there, you pull the gun out to its action, which is here, you push the top lever across, it opens, the gun comes out. When the gun goes back in, into there, close the gun up there, and then you can walk off. There is no rule about walking around the clay ground with your gun in or out the slip. It's up to you. The only thing I would say is if it's out the slip, you've just got to be careful. There's a bit of clay hit your stock or something like that, and you've got a brand new gun. Last thing you don't want to do is mark it. So that's all I would say on that. But a lot of, especially when you come to the trap and skeet, they all like carrying their guns around over their arms, something like that. That is about the safest way that you can carry a gun. You can put it on your toe, obvious reasons, not like that. The gun is open on your toe like that, perfectly safe. I don't mind carrying it like that. Now, some people don't like that because if I'm in a crowd of place and I walk around like that, you can easily smack somebody over the head with it. So if you do carry it like that, just remember it's got two ends. That is a definite no-no, all right? And I would say that is a definite no-no, really. Just not the done thing, doesn't look professional. So really, it's either like that or underneath your arm or like that. When you put the gun into a, into a rack, you, the gun is open, the gun is pointed to the sky, close the gun, and it's stock down, bow luck, trigger guard facing out into the rack like that. So it's not like that. It's not like that. The gun is open there into the rack like that. When you take the gun out, the gun is pointed to the sky, you break the gun like that, and the gun comes out. When you get onto the stand, at a club or a competition ground, you will have a cage into that stand. At a shooting school, a professional shooting school, you will have a fairly big area, and that is so the instructor can move about the client. 
so they can make sure it's safe. The instructor will always be stood on the side of the gun. So if it's a left-handed person, the instructor will be stood here. If it's a right-handed person, the instructor will be stood here. The gun, the first thing that happens is the gun goes over that rail. The worst thing you can do is you do not put two cartridges in the gun, do that and then that. The gun is always over that rail. I'm going to put the cartridges in my pocket, thanks to Fiocchi. So when you put the cartridges in the gun, the cartridges are put in the gun like that. You close the gun up into your line of view and you shoot there. So, you don't put the cartridge in the gun and do that and then over. The other don't you do is you don't do that and then over. The gun is over the rail and it's closed into the line of view. So, I'm just going to show you on a basic incomer how to mount the gun. So we do have a full video on this that will come out later on in the week, but I'm going to show you the basics. So the cartridges are in the gun. The first thing you don't do is you don't close the gun like that, all right? Because if you shoot into that ground, that will all come back at you. If you're on a game shoot and the dog is walking about you, you'll shoot the dog. The biggest thing you do, you don't close the gun there because if you're on a game shoot and there's a flag or a beater picking up there, you'll shoot straight at them. You close the gun up there, which is perfectly safe. If I pull the trigger now, it's perfectly safe. So I close my gun there, pull. And then I'm gonna say, at a shooting school, sometimes they let people eject the cartridges out because they have people clearing the cartridges up. But when you go and shoot a competition, the done thing is to catch the cartridges and put them in the bin. So the gun is closed there, push it away, pull, pull, and I take the gun down there, I break the gun, I catch the cartridges and I put them in the bin. If you are on a game shoot, you close the gun up, you mount the gun there, pull, pull, and you let the cartridges eject out, and then you pick them up at the end of the, get, of the, of the shoot. And again, a lot of shooting schools when you go for the lesson, part of that lesson is they will pick the cartridges up for you. But on a game shoot, you will pick the cartridges up. So again, you close the gun up. Pull. Pull. Gun down. And the no, what we don't want to see Pull. Is we don't want to see this. Because the barrel is pointing that way, it is not the done thing. If you can't catch the cartridges, let them throw out. Most shooting schools will have something that picks them up. Do not turn around and do that. If you can't catch them, let them eject out. Safety first. Most important thing with shotgun shooting is it's a safe sport. The other thing that I will, I will explain is you have auto safety and manual safety. So this particular gun is an auto safety. So I have to, I have to push that up all the time. And if you look when I open the gun, it comes off. A manual safety is when you physically have to take it off and on. A manual safety, if I get this gun, the safety is always stays like that. Now, personally, I prefer that safety. I prefer the safety that it stays on all the time because the most important thing is an open gun is a safe gun. A lot of people, 
they have a safety catch that comes on and off automatically and they put two carts in the gun and I'm pointing that at Alex's feet now and I say the safety catch is on. All that's doing is it's one little piece of metal. Open gun is a safe gun. So personally, if you have got one of those, you can change them to a normal safety catch for about 25, 30 pounds. So, and honestly, have a gun. You know, if you close that gun, it's ready to fire. If you open that gun, it's not. Do not fiddle with any safety catches. Most important thing that I, that I need to think about. So let me run that through again. So I pick my gun up out the rack. I pick my gun up out the rack. I get onto my stand. I've seen my target. My gun is over the rail. I put my cartridges in. I close the gun up, pull. Pull. And that is my basic safety rules. So don't forget, ear defenders, glasses, cap. I would recommend on any shooting school for safety reasons. And where that gun is, an open gun is a safe gun. You never, ever, ever point a gun at somebody. There is the exception to that rule. If you go to a shooting school, the instructor may ask you to point the gun at them to make sure gun fit is right, as I've done on this film before. The most sensible thing is, you show the instructor it's empty, you then close the gun up to the instructor and he can do that. And that is the only time you will close a gun at somebody. An open gun is a safe gun, and that is all we need to know. The other thing that will happen is if you have a misfire, so I put two cartridges in the gun, and if I have a misfire, you take the gun down, you break the gun, and you put that cartridge away. But what I would do first is see if that will go into there. A lot of misfires isn't necessarily the cartridge. A lot of misfires sometimes could be the gun. If you've got an old gun that hasn't been serviced regularly, the firing pins can be a little bit worn. So they won't strike the, the pin in the cartridge hard enough for the cartridge go to go off. So before you blame the cartridge, Go to your shooting school, talk to the experts, and see if there's something wrong with the gun. Because nine times out of 10, if you get a misfire, it is the gun. Some of the cheap cartridge manufacturers, generally you won't have them with the Italian ones. A lot of the cheaper English made cartridges, the cheap ones, they're made to a price. And all the primers and everything aren't quite as good as the more expensive ones. So, Again, it can be the cartridge, but go to your local shooting school and see why the situation happens before you start going blaming everything, blaming the tools before you go. So again, most guns, you can, it has selective safety catches, so you can choose what barrel you can pick. Now, if you're going game shooting, you're going on a big partridge day and you want to load quickly and it's a massive day and you're going to shoot lots, then a lot of people tend to shoot over barrel first because you can get the cartridges in the gun. But I'm going to be completely honest, you can change the chokes if you want a different choke in the barrel. If you shoot the under barrel first, if you, if you look here, the under barrel, if you draw a line through there, it makes the gun equal. If you shoot the over barrel first, the recoil comes out there. So it does make the gun do that. So my recommendation would be to always, if you're shooting clays, to shoot the under barrel first. It will make the gun slightly more equal throughout the whole, throughout the whole process of shooting. So it can change, but generally most people will shoot under barrel gun and most guns will shoot. Side by sides, it will be the right hand one and over and unders it will be the underbell, but you can change that. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. For any information you've seen in this programme, please comment below, like and subscribe, 
and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.